Hello Aumat! In this video, we will define arithmetic means and we will find the arithmetic mean between the two terms of the arithmetic sequence. Alright, so first, in, a, in an arithmetic sequence, the terms between any two terms are called arithmetic means. So, ibig sabihin siya yung nasa gitna. Ito yung mga terms or uh, value na nasa pagitan ng dalawang terms natin sa first and last term. Alright? Next. In SIR 3, arithmetic means between 18 and 30. So, let's have an example. So, first, we will find the common difference. Paano natin hahanapin ng common difference? By using the end term of the arithmetic uh, sequence formula. Okay, ano yon? We have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times the common difference. So, again, para mahanap natin ang common difference, we will be using the n term of the arithmetic sequence formula. So, we will just substitute the value. We will have a sub 1, 18. n is equal to 5. Bakit 5? Kasi we have 5 terms. The 18 30 at yung tatlong terms na hinahanap natin for the arithmetic means. So, we have 5. Now, our a sub n, we will represent a sub n as 30, which is equal to 18 plus our n is 5. We will just substitute all the values. So, we will have minus 1 times d. Okay, ang hinahanap natin dito ay common difference. So, we will have... 30 minus 18, bakit siya naging minus 18? We will uh, transpose, ililipat natin si 18, so magiging minus 18 is equal to, we will distribute yung common difference na D, which is 5 times D, so we will have 5D, and the negative 1 times D, that is minus D. So we will have 30 minus 18, that is 12, is equal to 5D minus D, that is 4D. Now we will divide both sides by 4. So, we will have D is equal to 3. So, therefore, our first term is 18. So, since the common difference is 18, we will just add 3 from the first term. So, 18 plus 3, that is 21. Plus 3, that is 24. Plus 3, 27. So, dapat matatapos tayo sa 30. And 27 plus 30, that is, uh, plus 3, that is 30. Let's have another example. So, by the way, the arithmetic means of 18 and 30 are 21, 24, and 27. Next, insert four arithmetic means between 7 and 37. So, we are looking now for four arithmetic means sa pagitan ng 7 and 37. So, again, we will find the common difference using the formula of arithmetic sequence, the n term formula. So, we will have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d, which is your common difference. Now, our a sub 1 is 7, our n is equal to 6 since we have the term 7, 37, at yung hinahanap natin na apat na arithmetic means. So, we have a total of 6 terms. Okay? So, we will represent a sub n as 37 which is equal to our a sub 1 is 7 plus our n is 6 minus 1 times d. So, we will now have 37 minus 7. Lipat natin si 7. That will become negative is equal to 6 times d, that is 6d, and the negative 1 times d, that is minus d. So, 37 minus 7, that is 30, is equal to 6d minus d, that is 5d. So, we will divide both sides by 5, so we will have 30 divided by 5, so our common difference is 6. So, if I have 7, so we will just add 6 from 7. So, 7 plus 6, that is 13. 13 plus 6, that is 19. 19 plus 6, that is 25. 25 plus 6, that is 31. So, dapat mag-end sa 37 to check kung tama yung ating arithmetic mean. So, 31 plus 6, that is 37. So, therefore, the four arithmetic means between 7 and 37 are 13, 19, 25, and 31.
Now, the arithmetic mean or simply the average, I know we are all familiar with this word. So, ginagamit natin to when we are trying to compute our grades, okay? So, this is simply the average of the number of x and y given by x is equal to x plus y all over 2. So, kapag nag a tayo ng dalawang numbers or terms, divide by 2, that is already an average. Now, the arithmetic mean or simply the average of a set of numbers x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 up to x sub n is given by x is equal to, we will multiply all the values divided by n or simply the summation of x all over n wherein yung summation natin, ibig sabihin, i-add natin siya lahat divided by n where n yun yung bilang ng terms mo. So, kung ilan yung inad mo, dun mo siya i-divide. Now, let's have an example. Find the arithmetic mean between 8 and 20. So, I have here, our x is 8, our y is 20, divided by 2, so 8 plus 20, that is 28, is equal to 14. So, our arithmetic mean is equal to 14. Now, let us check. If I have 8 and 20 and the arithmetic mean is 14, let us check. They must have a common difference. So, let us check. 20 minus 14, that is 6. 14 minus 8, that is also 6. So, therefore, the arithmetic 14 is correct. Next, find the arithmetic mean between negative 5 and 7. So, we will have our x is negative 5 plus y, our y is 7, divided by 2, that is negative 5 plus 7, that is positive 2, divided by 2, which is x is equal to 1. So, let us try to uh, check, okay? So, I have our first term is negative 5, and then our last term is 7. So, let us try to check. So, they must have a common difference. So, 7 minus 1 is 6. 1 minus negative 5, that is also 6. Because 1 minus negative 5, that will become 1 plus 5, and that is 6. So, again, they have a common difference. So, our arithmetic mean, which is 1, is correct. Now, let's have a problem solving. Let's try to solve a problem. Dominic's scores in five math tests are 94, 90, 96, 93, and 95. What is his average score? So again, sabi ko kanina, we will add all the scores. Okay? So dito sa ating numerator o yung nasa taas, we will get the summation of all the numbers. Okay? So we have 94, 90, 96, 93, and 95. Divided by 5, san ko nga ulit kinuha yung 5? Ito yung bilang nung data. So we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is all over 5. Now, we will add. So we uh, get the sum which is 468 divided by 5, therefore our x is equal to 93.6. So the average score of Dominic from his 5 math test is 93.6. Now, if Dominic scores were 88, 86, 87, and 84, let us try to find the average. So again, we will get the summation of all the scores. We have 88 plus 86 plus 87 plus 84 all over 4. Why 4? Because we have 1, 2, 3, 4 datas or number of datas. Okay? So we will add all the scores. That is 345. Divided by 4, we will have x is equal to 86.25. So, 86.25 is Dominic's average from his scores of 88, 86, 87, and 84. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to our WowMath channel. Just keep on watching!